So I want to talk about divs versus spans, exactly what they are and what the difference is between them. So HTML5 is set up to be a very semantic language, and that means every tag that you put in here has some sort of implied meaning. Body, what is the body? Well, that's the visible content on the page. It's the body of your document. Header, that's where you put your main headings or any group of headings. H1, heading level one. It's the most important heading on the page. P for paragraph, A for anchor. All these tags have implied meaning. But every once in a while, you want to create a piece of content and you don't really have a specific meaning for it. It's just, okay, I need to group some things or I need to grab a little piece of text that's inside of some other text so I can style it differently. That's what the purpose of div and span are. Div, if I create one of those, this is a block element. So if you understand CSS display property, the difference between inline and block, block starts on a new line and anything that comes after it has to start on a new line as well. So it takes up the entire width. And then span, if we do one of those, this is going to be a display inline element. So it doesn't disturb anything. It just wraps around its content. So let me uh, just put a few of these on the page here just to illustrate. So I'm going <clears> to, <throat> pardon me, I'm going to create three spans. Just put a little piece of text inside. There we are. And you can see the background, the blue background, wraps perfectly around this content. So it just, it collapses around this. Then if we create three divs, there we are, they're stacked one on top of the other. The first one drops down to a new line, even though span is in line and something else could come after it. So if I were to put these all inside of a paragraph, there we are. Now you'll notice there's some space here because the browser understands what a paragraph is and has some built-in padding that it puts in there just because it is a paragraph. So the browsers have default styling that they apply to every element. Span and div have very limited styling. They will inherit things like the font size, the color of the font, things like that, but there's no extra padding or margin, nothing to do with layout or positioning or um, its size relative to something else. So there's my spans inside of a paragraph. If I were to write some text here and here and here and here, you can see the spans, they just sit in line with everything else. The divs, they get their own lines. And that's the difference, inline versus block for the display property. Otherwise, they are just empty containers that you can use to hold content. If you need to find a piece of text and style it, use a span. If you need to come wrap a bunch of things in the page, say a series of paragraphs, you want to put them together to style them, a div's going to work well for that. You want to build a little box that slides onto the screen or something that holds advertising, a div's going to work well for that. All right, so hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.